Is already yesterday again. Did you feel anything from the race three weeks ago? Residual fatigue? Yes, no, there was no, residual I don't think fatigue. so. I don't think you have too much residual fatigue from a hard swim, an easy bike, and an eight-mile run, <laughs> and then a, a sixteen-mile walk. So, uh, no, it was good. It was a, it was a great test. I mean, I had problems in that race, yeah. and uh, I mean, I've had problems the last five Ironmans. Really, I've walked five Ironmans in a row. So. When I saw that I wasn't going to catch you on, and it went to plan B, and that was let's do a marathon and yeah. not walk. So I, I did blow up. I probably went out a little too hot. But, but you managed to not walk. Right? But I did not walk, and so, that, that was the win for me. Nice, nice. Yeah. And now in five weeks, you have uh, Ironman Copenhagen? Yes, I'm going to do Copenhagen. What is your recovery strategy after, after yesterday? Um, probably just try and take care of the body, eat good, hydrate properly. Take a few easy sessions. I'll probably start getting back into it on Friday, and then uh, we'll tilt on Monday next this coming Monday. Nice. And you'll so, stay in Europe? No, I'm gonna go back. Uh, my little puppy dog has uh, got a babysitter right now, <laughs> and uh, we've got to relieve them of their parents' parents of their duties, and uh, and then find another babysitter for them <laughs> when we come back. So yeah, nice, nice. And then if I go make, will you change anything from the? From the lessons you learned yesterday? I'm moving in the right direction. There's a few fine tunings, I think. Uh, probably a little, I went like the opposite in, in Coeur d'Alene. I think I was too much carbs. Yeah. And in this one, I started to feel that I was getting pretty low on the carbs just because I, when I would take a gel and just swish it around in my mouth, I, I started to get some, some speed back. Yeah. And so, you know, you've got to kind of figure out what's right for you, particularly with what your gut can handle and that kind of thing. And, um, so that's a little fine tuning, and then just hard training. Yeah, yeah, I feel I feel like you know after Coeur d'Alene, I and even going in, I tapered into that. Not really able to do a ton of training now. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah. you got to do training too, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I need to go back and put in. I think you know a solid four, a good four weeks of training, yeah, yeah. and I think I can get to an, a little bit higher. Is there something you'll focus on because your swimming, for example, improved already nicely? Yeah, yeah, it was good. Um, it's tough when you still you improve and you still come down five minutes yeah. down. I mean, it's just the, the bar seems to keep going up. But um, yeah, I, it's good. You know, I, in the pack dynamic type race, uh, I'm getting into that pack now in yeah, front yeah, yeah. of me, which is good. Yeah, which is good. So I'm kind of in the mix a little bit earlier, which is totally different for me. So I'm excited to keep. This was an amazing, totally different than than what, yeah. what we've been doing. Uh, just an individual time trial, so it's it's good to know. You've got to be very very fit to do an individual time trial. Uh, so it's good to know the fitness is there, but it'll also be fun to get back and do the the race yeah, dynamic yeah. type thing. Did you did you like the lack of tactics yesterday, or yeah, it was, was it a bit a little bit lonely? Uh? I, I mean, it was fun. It was back to my roots. That was that was kind of what racing was like for most of my career, like seven years of my career, just yeah, getting yeah. dropped in the swim, having no one around me till the very end of the bike, and hunting, and hunting the whole time. So uh, I wasn't much of a hunter. Uh, I was the I was the the gap was opening, yeah, but you did your best. I did my best, and uh, I achieved all my goals for the day. And I'm excited to keep working. I'm very inspired, yeah. and it'll be fun to get back to the to the grind. Do you have any advice for youngsters like us that uh, are inspired by you? How did you get well, the first, out of life? Well, yeah, first, just uh, first, work on your swim. <laughs> swimming is very important. I wish I had uh, started swimming a little earlier. Uh, and just enjoy the process, really. Uh, I mean, one of the things I've learned from the swimming is like feel, this idea of feel for the water, yeah. just being conscious of what's going on inside. And, uh, I think that was lacking even in my biking and my running because I always I always said if only swimming was like biking and running and I must win, you know, yeah, but yeah, work the, re the reality is it's actually the opposite. Biking and running is very much like swimming. If you're soft, you're more controlled, you get better, you know, better speed to power and all these kinds of things and more efficient in your running. Yeah. And that starts with, I think, just listening to what's going on inside and enjoying the process. So. Nice, nice. Yeah. Thanks for your advice. Yeah, cheers. Good luck with the recovery and uh, good luck in Copenhagen. Yeah, thanks, man. Hopefully, you'll see you in Kona. Yeah, yeah. We gotta get